Hey guys, welcome back. Ricky here. Okay, so today I'm going to do a kind of a different type of video. So it's going to be a tutorial. Um, but one of my subscribers, I want to answer two questions in this video. And the first one was, is it possible to sharpen a knife without counting? Okay. Uh, yes, it is. And I'll go through that for you. And the other question was, how long can you go without flattening your stone? Uh, this stone here, so just to answer that question really quickly, this stone here, this is the Tracera 800. It's got about, I would say about five dozen sharpenings on it by now, and I have not flattened it ever. So, uh, and at the end of the video, I'm going to do a cut test for you guys to see what the result is on this, on this stone. Okay. Uh, but going back to the original question is, can you, I guess my subscribe that, that, that viewer says that uh, claims that my videos are too complicated, that my process of counting down is too complicated. Okay. I respect that. Okay. I, I try to make my videos as clear as I can by explaining all my reasoning behind my sharpening. Um, but, uh, it's okay if a subscriber or a viewer doesn't understand, um, I do do my best to try to address those concerns. Okay. So that's why we're doing this video today. Um, let me grab something here. Okay. This stone is slipping just a little bit. Okay. So, so the concern is, uh, the, I guess the viewer is having trouble with my passes where I go one pass, two pass. And then when I strop, I go 10, you know, 12 strops on one side and then 10 strops in the other and go back down. So I'm guessing that viewer is having trouble with that system. Uh, that's the best I can get from the messages. So yes, the answer is yes. We're going to do that today with this knife. And this is going to be a little different because, because this knife is, uh, curved. It doesn't have a straight edge. Um, I'm not going to go with the traditional passes. Okay. So I'm going to do the push and pull, but with the stroke met with the kind of radius stroke method. Okay. So instead of me doing 10 or 20 strokes and then turning the knife around, doing 20 strokes and going back, you know, th two to three times each, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay on one side until I develop a burr. Once I feel a micro burr on one side, I'll flip the stone. Uh, I mean, I'll flip the knife and I'll go the other side. And then once I feel that burr come up and then I'll do my stropping with, instead of doing a counting down method, I'm going to go one strop at a time, one strop at a time. Okay. So hopefully that is easy enough to follow. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to hear from you guys uh, if that's easier uh, as well. And um, let me know if my videos are too complicated or if I'm explaining uh, if I'm oversimplifying things or I'm overcomplicating things. Okay. Um, I take my critiques very seriously. I read every single one of them on my channel. If you guys look through every one of my videos, I answer every single comment. Okay. And I do that because, you know, I really feel like this is a community that you guys are my, my subscribers are, you know, are really friends. You're not just viewers from somewhere across the world. Okay. You guys all have access to me. I'm very easy to, ex to, um, to access. And, uh, oh, also before I forget, I have started a new Facebook page called Perfection. Okay. So it's going to be for all of my subscribers here on YouTube. You guys can also um, message me on YouTube, but I'm also going to make sure that I at least hop on Facebook at least for an hour a day to actually uh, be in touch with you guys. So you guys can, can always reach out to me when you guys see me on Facebook. Okay. And so that link uh, to the website will be in the description uh, at the very bottom of the description. Okay. So let's get on with the shopping video now. So again, we're going to get to, uh, because this is a tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit here. So this will be a little longer of a video. Okay. So let's talk about the angle. How I get my angle at first. Okay. So for me, I always go, okay. I go edge leading and edge trailing strokes real slowly. And I play with my angle by leaning the knife toward the stone or away from the stone or the spine or uh, toward the stone or away from the stone. Okay. And so by doing that, you really feel a friction. There's going to be an area somewhere where you will feel the max amount of friction without the knife digging into the stone and what, without the knife kind of feeling it slipping on the bevel. Okay. So whatever the angle is for your knife, find it. Okay. And because this is a 50, 50 bevel knife, I'm not going to try to worry about, uh, sharpening one side longer than the other. So today it's just gonna be a very simple tutorial. Uh, all right. So. For me, it's this angle here. Okay. So from your vantage point, um, it's not quite that thick, but, uh, it's probably the thickness of, I would say a matchbook, you know, maybe a little thicker than that. I don't know exactly. So again, I don't, I never tell people to sharpen by angle. I always go by feel whatever the angle, the knife is telling me to sharpen at. That's what I do. 
Okay. In terms of holding the knife, again, I bring my middle finger up to the choil or to the neck. Okay. Then I kind of flex my, bring my fingers around first my thumb onto the bottom tip of the knife and then my index finger rests right up there. Very relaxed. I'm not overly stretching. I'm not, you know, pressing or, um, or putting too much pressure on my index finger. So everything's very relaxed. The key is being able to keep your hands in hand relaxed so that you can manipulate the angle freely. When you're too tense, it's hard for you to kind of feel what the stone is telling you. And the feedback of the stone may be lessened if you're too tense. So you want to keep your hands relaxed and just want to keep it, you know, so that your fingers don't cramp up. That way you can really feel what the knife is do, uh, doing on the stone. Okay, so we're going to go and um, we're, again, I'm not doing any counting this time. No counting in this video. I'm simply going to start and I'm going to move. If you guys watch my the dark areas, you guys will see me move up and down this stone. Okay, I'm going from tip to tip. Okay, I'm not stopping. I'm not lifting. I'm just going to go from tip to tip because this knife is a constant radius. I'm going to keep it very smooth and constant motion. Okay. Ah, forgot. I got to run the knife on the brick. <laughs> so let's do that. I was so busy talking. Yes, I know. Very painful to watch. I know. But it must be done because I've gotten some people commenting that I I fake my sharpening videos, that I I turn the camera off or or I um I have a sharper knife set aside that's already pre-sharpened and then I switch knives. Okay, so uh, if, if you guys watch my videos very closely, everything is on camera. I don't turn the camera off unless the battery dies. Uh, but I, I am drawing the knife in front of you guys. I am sharpening and sharpening in front of you guys and I'm cutting the paper in front of you guys. Um, so I'm not faking anything, okay? There's no reason for me to fake a sharp knife video, okay? So uh, please don't accuse me of that. That's not very nice. Okay, all right, let's go. Um, okay, so this is how sharp the knife is, as you guys can see. No blood anywhere, okay? So, very dull knife. Anything else? Nope, we're ready to go. Again, you wanna take easy, nice, smooth strokes. I am really not applying any pressure onto the knife at this point. Uh, the only pressure that's being applied is just the weight of my left hand and the weight of my my right hand. But other than that, I am applying zero pressure. Okay, and you want to move around the stone. You want to, if you can, uh, comfortably. So uh, don't get into a situation where you're grinding the edge of the stone. Okay, so I don't know how many strokes that is. Again, we're not counting. So I'm simply feeling for a micro burr on the left side because I'm sharpening on the right side and I don't really feel anything at this point so I'm gonna go a little further So we're almost there. Okay, again, I like to move around the stone. That way we can distribute that wear across as much of the stone as possible. Now, I, um, I was a little hasty in my brick pulling, and I was pulling the knife probably a little bit too fast and too hard. <laughs> so I really have uh, dulled this uh, knife's edge. So I'm gonna go, hopefully, another, another few strokes here. I uh, see that there's already 10 minutes of the video passed, and that was, I think, like eight minutes of it was me talking, okay? So <laughs> I apologize for talking so much, but I feel like in a tutorial, I should at least explain things. Uh, so 
Hopefully you guys appreciate that. So we've got a micro burr from the top tip to the bottom tip, okay? And again, you're not looking for a really big burr. If you, um, some people are looking for these really big obvious burr that come up that are, this, are really aggressive, uh, the type of burr that you actually can cut your finger on. You don't want that, okay? You're taking off too much material and it makes it di more difficult to actually make your knife um, sharper that way. And I'll explain why when we get to the stropping portion, okay? So now we go to the left side of the knife and do the exact same thing. Okay, so we're doing full strokes. Uh, maybe I should explain holding the knife, okay? So when we held the knife on this side to sharpen this knife, we went uh, middle finger up to the choil, thumb down, index finger, okay? On this side, so the, it's gonna be a little different because of the angles, okay? It's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a little different because now your wrist is, you don't want your wrist to flex too much, okay? So your angle is actually, your wrist is actually gonna come forward, okay? So bring your fingers, fo roll your fingers forward a little bit. You bring your, again, bring your middle finger uh, to the choil. Um, it doesn't have to go all the way up because your finger, index finger is longer than your thumb because if you're here, unless you bring your, middle finger all the way up, your thumb can't get the, the bottom tip here. But with your index finger being longer, your fingers actually don't have to touch, or your middle finger doesn't have to quite touch the choil. Just get to where your index finger gets that uh, bottom tip, and then you do your grab. Okay, So really easy, really comfortable. That's the easiest grab I can think, or that I can show you guys. Um, that is very consistent, and that will give you a pretty consistent result, okay? And then you simply bring the knife down and hopefully match the angle um, or whatever angle that feels the best as you guys are finding that uh, that magic angle okay so you find it the exact same way as the other side is you bring the knife to an angle and you bring the spine towards the stone and whenever you feel the knife slip you back off just a little bit because you don't want the knife on um, you know at, at an angle where it's actually not sharpening the cutting edge okay so that's why I bring the angle the, the spine slightly back away from the stone and then that should be your proper sharpening angle. So the second side, you should achieve a burr relatively quickly compared to the first side because a lot of the uh, the burr is kind of flipping back over, okay? So you just want to take your time though, never want to brush it. So there is a very, okay, we've got another few seconds here, then we should be done. Okay, so now we've developed the burr, micro burr on this side as well. Okay, so now to straighten the burr out, okay, so there are a couple of ways you can straighten the burr out. You can take a piece of wood and drag the knife across a piece of wood. I don't like doing that because I find that the burr, um, you do get rid of the burr for the most part, but that bend in that uh, cutting edge is still there. 
So what, what I like to do is you want to do a few strokes. Okay, you can do a few strokes just to kind of push that burr over slightly. Okay, again, we're not counting. We're going to do a few strokes on the other side. Okay, we'll go back and forth a couple times. again. Okay, so now we feel on both sides. Now, if you've done it correctly, a lot of that burr should be standing up and you shouldn't feel a burr on either side of the edge. Okay, and so right now it feels perfect. So now what, that's tell what that tells me is the burr is, it might not be standing straight up, okay, but it might be doing something like this, where there's both sides are very even, okay. So now we get to our stropping method. So I'm gonna, instead of going counting down, like, uh, like I normally do, I'm gonna go one strop on each side, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go one stroke, and then one stroke. Okay, so hopefully this is easy enough to follow. We'll go one stroke at a time. And in terms of how many, we're not gonna worry, worry about that. Do it until you feel the knife is very smooth and the edge feels very clean. Okay, so I'm just taking my time. Yeah, because that one's getting a little dry. Okay, and if you look at the stone very closely, every once in a while you'll see a dark line appear, and that is your burr falling off the knife. Okay, so if you do this properly, you you're actually deburring the knife as you're stropping it. Okay, and this is the method I have found that has given me the really the best result. Okay, you can and afterwards you can do newspaper if you want to, but I have found that just on the stone alone, which I'll show you guys is a pretty good result. Okay, so I think that was, my, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 strokes on each side at this point. But again, we're not counting. Okay, so I'm gonna do another, let's do another three strokes. Because the edge is starting to feel pretty good at this point. Okay, all right, so the stone is fairly clean. So now we're gonna dry the knife off. And then we'll do a quick cut test and see if, uh, if I have achieved what I was hoping to set up to achieve. Okay, so let's take a look here. Okay, not bad. Okay, I'm trying to get these really ultra fine cuts and show you guys. Okay, that's one piece there. Let's do a folded cut. These are a pretty hard cuts right here because the knife really has to kind of eat into the paper, and the paper, and this is a, uh, this is magazine paper, which is really smooth, like ultra smooth paper. Okay. Okay. Let's do some curved cuts here. So let's have a look. So this is what I was trying to achieve, getting these really, really fine strands. Okay, this is quite hard to do if you don't have a sharp knife. Okay, the feathering, very clean, very, very nice long strands. Okay, so this is also very difficult to do without a sharp knife. Okay, and the double cut, I mean, the yeah, the folded cut, those are really difficult because the paper is 
you're you're you have nothing to hold the paper up so um, to get these cut properly it's actually quite difficult okay and the curved cuts are also really nice here really nice and clean okay big long curved cut here all right so you know so there you have it I and mean, that's just one stone that's not with me stropping on anything i mean that is a you know a pretty respectable edge there i think that would be usable in any kitchen in my opinion uh, i'm definitely going to use this in my kitchen today so i'm taking this inside the house and i'm going to use it to cook dinner okay so hopefully that answers your question you definitely can get a sharp edge with one stone and also you don't have to count traditionally uh, that as you guys saw there really just you as long as you develop a method and that's consistent and as long as you know what you're looking for in terms of de developing a burr and having that consistent angle that really will give you a good result all right so i'm going to try to give you guys the edge here yeah so overall i mean the tracera 800 is a very good stone it's one of my favorite stones and i've always had really good luck with it but uh, yeah, you can produce a really clean edge with just one stone, okay? So hopefully that answers your question. Um, hopefully the subscriber that uh, asked me to make this video is happy with the result. Again, no counting really comes down to just producing a burr on both sides and then just doing single strops, okay? And uh, that was what you, uh, that was the result that you saw on this here, okay? All right, guys, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up and, uh, you know, give me your comments. If you guys um, like these type of videos where I have two angles to show you, please let me know. Um, if there are any sharpened techniques that you guys actually want to see, um, let me know because then I can actually will put the video, uh, video together to explain how to do things and make me make, you know, sharpening a little easier for you. And that's what my, my goal is to make sharpening really easy, understandable and accessible to everyone. Okay. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video.